recording this. Right, so how's it going everyone on uh, Facebook? So just started to transfer my live stream just onto my Facebook page as my actual um, profile, well, just on my standard photography page. I uh, wasn't getting many views, so I just thought I'd put up view, i try and get some views on just on my normal uh, Facebook accounts. Now, what I'm doing today is content. So I'm going to do some boat editing, some raw file photos that I took uh, back on Monday and Tuesday evening uh, with Adobe Photoshop with the camera raw file. And now I should be on this page here. Now, for those of you on for those of you that are viewing through Facebook, um, you'd probably notice the um, the strange Facebook Live logo in the center there. Um, now that's just the live streaming software that's acting up with the uh, camera raw file for um, just from Adobe. I'm just going to try and adjust things up a little bit. So see so if I could try and see if I can fit everything in there reasonably okay looks like uh that's probably the best i'm gonna get but i'd rather have it like that right um all right so i've just selected some photos here and these are photos that i if you saw some of the photos i've uploaded back on like monday evening or tuesday morning you would notice that i've um the photos taken were JPEGs, and these are the raw file ones, which I've just been selecting. And just want to probably go live. That's probably a smart decision. Um, so we're just going to wait till that goes live. And okay, here we go. So now we're li now we're live. It seems so. <laughs> Professionalism at its finest. Um, right. So for those people who have just started viewing, um, I'm actually. So I'm using the uh, using Adobe's Camera Raw for Adobe Photoshop right there, and just been on Adobe Photoshop, and now I've got my raw files right here. Uh, the I'm just gonna adjust the OBS right there. Uh, it's just a bit awkward at times to work around, and just checking on. Footage. So, so far I've recorded just for this fresh live stream, three minutes in. Not too sure how much time I've actually recorded on the Instagram feed, but at least I'm getting some views there. Uh, just going to check. Okay. So, so far, so good. Now, now where, where was I continuing from? Okay. Um, hope you guys can hear me clearly through Facebook as well. Now, I was just, as I was going through on the, just on my previous Facebook live stream, um, so I've just got these images here that I'm going through, and if you can't really see it in the center, uh, you'll, you, hopefully you'll be able to notice it on the left-hand side of the stream, um, yeah, and it's a bit awkward again, I apologize for, for it, that's just how OBS does it, um, I actually just popped open, just got myself a Red Bull as well because I've just been chatting a lot for the past 30 minutes, it seems. So, right, so just gonna just have a quick sip. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a bit more refreshing. All right, so carefully going through each image. And just selecting ones that I'm more happy with and ones that I actually will edit. And these photos here, for those who are also viewing on the live stream on Instagram as and some of you guys on Facebook, uh, the photos that you're seeing on the left-hand side were ones I haven't actually posted up yet because these were straight out of camera raw files, no JPEG whatsoever. So might actually select that one just want to zoom in there so check on the 
I got the right kind of focus just where I'm at. So it looks, it looks doable. Um, it's not per it's not perfect because I was using some secondhand lenses, and the lenses include the Sigma twenty eight millimeter f two point eight, the Pentax M series uh, fifty millimeter f two, and the another Pentax M uh, one hundred and thirty five millimeter f two point five, and because these lenses were mo mostly made back in the 70s and 80s, uh, they've picked up quite a bit of fungus and a bit of uh, dust and stuff internally. So it's going to be a very, so it's going to be pretty soft um, just for some of the photos. But I'm going to see if I could try and fix things up. Um, might also check up if I've got anyone viewing on. So I've got two views so far on. Facebook, which is a okay. I'm not too fussed about that. That's okay. All right, so I'm gonna select uh, this photo here. Um, for you guys that are viewing on Facebook, um, just let me know what you're what you think about the just the live stream showing at the moment, because I'm just viewing it right now, and still, like I said, I I don't know what's going on with the central page there uh it's just very strange um but carrying on so just carefully going through each image and viewing so just viewing my face mostly um how have you guys been doing out in just in level three so far here in new zealand or for you, you guys on Instagram watching this, uh, since most people are going to be global, how, how's everyone else doing out, out there anyway? Because these are very strange times, and it's good to just get together and just see what's going on. Um, so, that will never be doable. Mm -hmm. Um... Check if there's any comment section. Nope. So I got one person viewing my live stream so far, but no comments now. This is, so this photo here is, um, looks like it's with, oh, it's just the same 28 millimeter. Um, you definitely notice there's a lot more, it looks like you guys on um, Facebook won't be able to see it clearly with the, um, because of the OBS, but for those on Instagram here, uh, you might just notice it. Just um, it's a lot more fringing going on in this photo in particular. But I will see what I can do with this photo. Um, it's got a lot more fringing just because of the uh, backlight there. Um, that's just me adjusting my positioning. It's generally the same. Now and then we got quite a few bits of um, just shadow reflection from the rear, just from that rear light. Because um, I've got two lights. I have one light set just behind me and I've got the one just on my, just on the right hand of the image. Uh, mm -hmm. So just want to check these and just find out which one do I prefer most. Um, because I'm not gonna lie, they just they're very very soft. Thanks, just because of the uh, lens I was using, and it is a secondhand lens. Um, I might just select that one. Just give that one a try. And just gonna go and check. Definitely like the depth of field on this one. It's not too bad, uh, but. Can I get better? It's always try and get the best of what I what I use. So I'm you know, just not I'm just rating these as four, usually four out of five or three out of five because these are not the best. Now for Facebook Live, I'm on currently eight minutes through the live stream. It seems okay. Um, 
Now, just carefully going through each image again. So I just want to check through. Probably would do just fine. This is usually how I do my, um, this is how I use my feed as well. I just, well, not my feed, but just my workflow. So I just carefully go through each image and just carefully analyze the specs of it, becoming a real pe pixel peeper, as some people call it. Uh, actually, um, I don't know, it looks a little bit better than that one, in my opinion, just a, just a fraction better. So I might go and remove that one and select that one instead. And then that one there is absolute crap. So I'm going to bend that one. And just want to look more closer in that. It's still very soft to that one. So I'm going to still a bit blurry. Um, uh, okay, that one there is actually, that one there, if, if you guys on Instagram that could see it, like, oh, you just see it there, but it's not too bad. As for the Facebook feed, you may see it. It's acting up, of course, and already nine minutes through on Facebook Live. Yeah, but... This photo here is actually looks really good though, so I will give it a four out of five. Um, I'm just gonna carefully go through each one. This is always the first phase of when I'm editing several raw files. I tend to, what I do is I'll just look through each image carefully just to see which one looks perfect. Um, that looks very interesting though. I like the, um. I do like how the little light on top has just covered up parts of my finger and parts of my hat there. That's interesting. That's not really what I want. And then that one there's just I'll give this I'll give that one a shot though. Um is there any comments going on? So no so far I don't have any comments going on uh Instagram at the moment, unless I'm just gonna Play around with that a little bit. No, it doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate. Um, one view going on. All right, so I got one view going on the two views now. That's good. So two views on, two views going on Facebook Live. <laughs> so for a bit of that study there. Now, carefully going through each image, just carefully examining. Might give that one a shot, so I'll go. I'm just gonna rate that one four out of five. It's not the best. I I will say these aren't my best photos out there. But saying that I the three lenses I was using um are very very old anyway, so there is gonna be a lot of fogging and a lot of dust and mold and stuff anyway. So yeah, but. I actually like the there's a lot of noise creeping up at um when you zoom in at a hundred percent there, but you could still actually read the uh, labels on this photo, um, which is really good. So might actually do that one. So I'll put it as four out of five. But of course, there's always something sharper. So a little bit annoying for you guys on Facebook because uh, you can't really see entirely what I'm viewing right here, uh, but I'm actually looking up close at my camera and just checking on noise, chromatic aberrations, and any other detail. Uh, don't know why that's, there we go. And I've also got it, I've got this going on uh, Instagram as well, but Instagram is probably gonna be a much longer live stream, 30 minutes, give or take. Uh, gonna give that one a try as well. And why not? I'll do these three and just select one out of one out of the three. That's usually how it goes. Um, I'm okay with this photo, but uh, this photo, I just think my eyes look real. Uh, my left eye, no, right eye, um, looking through a mirror just looks really cheesy. So I'm not going to do that one though. Uh, it's always funny what uh, the expressions on people's faces when taking photographs. So, <laughs> so I'm judging myself as 
my expression changes. Now I could do with that one. I could definitely do that one just because that's a much nicer view um, or nicer image. Just checking so far, no, nobody viewing the live stream. No surprises there. Uh, just checking there. There we are. Now, apologies about how dull this part gets anyway, but that's usually how I usually how I do my work here. So I give you guys a really good idea on this is what I do when I'm editing. So now just carefully going through again. Almost done with all these. That's a nicer one. That's a bit nice. A little bit better, that one. Just a little bit better. And doable. These are doable. So looks like I've got all my all the ones I want to edit. So these are the selected ones. And it's just going to go back to the top and just start removing stuff. So I'm going to go delete you. Don't know why I took photos of these, but I must have been experimenting and just left in a messy card. Get rid of that one. Uh, you can go. That's the one I selected earlier, so that's fine. That one there. Nah. And what I can also do just as a small hack is uh, just, just by pressing control and just clicking on the photos on my left, I can just go through the ones that I did not select, like these, and after I picked up all the ones that aren't selected, I can, actually I might actually keep those three, I may keep those three just so I'll give them a try again, but, then what I can do is start, just start posting these up on, um, well, not post them up, but just get rid of them. And it just makes the job a bit easier when editing. So instead of having a wide number of images, I would have very fewer images to work with. So it's always a good perk about it. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just going to check. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks, Cameron. Thanks for the... Um, definitely thanks for the uh, comment there, just on my accent. Uh, yeah, so I'm actually... So so for me, Cameron, I'm actually um, from the United States originally, but I've lived here since 2001. So somehow I've managed to combine both an American accent and a New Zealand accent into one. One part is some people think it's Canadian, some people think it's Ireland, South Africans, but in reality, it's just a hybrid of American and New Zealand. So it's a, it's a very interesting hybrid, if you ask me. All right, so just checking through, so I'm 16 minutes, yeah, almost 17 minutes through the live stream here. Um, and just from what I've been doing is... I've just finished selecting some raw file images. I'm also filming, I'm also live streaming this on Instagram for you guys interested. Um, and I'm just going to go on to just my internet there. So for those of you on my Facebook, if, um, if you guys want to follow me, feel free to follow me on Instagram just over here. Um, with some of these photos I'm editing, I will be sending them through to PicFair uh, just for stock photos. So you can actually, so you, if you wanted to, you can actually purchase the photos on PicFair.com. Um, and then just my name, Pros Forever, though. So P R O S E, number four, E V E R. Uh, I'm also on IM, and IM is where I also sell a lot of more, a lot more of my photo images, and as well as that, I might even update it onto my website if my website shows up. There we go. So, so yeah, you're more than welcome to check out my website. If you got any inquir inquiries, feel free to send me an email. Not too sure why it's taking forever to upload, but yeah, so that's just my 
email right there. And as for, well, as well as that, I'm also on Facebook as well, which, um, well, I've, I've got a Facebook page, so p.rose photo and video. So if you ever want to see some of my work, check out those links. So I will make sure I put a link in the description soon, but now to carry on with the my raw, you know, just editing my raw images. Oh yeah, uh, so I'm just reading your accent there, Cameron. Uh, so I'm in an American accent after being so long. Definitely sounds American more than anything, but love the blend of the Kiwi and the, you know. Uh, yeah, so um, so I'm from so Cameron. I am, so I'm, so I'm, ba I'm based in uh, Delaware, which is, just next to Maryland State, um, and Maryland, the Maryland's um, big city is uh, Baltimore. So, support the you know Baltimore Ravens go, go Baltimore. Um, yeah, but as well as that, to make things simpler, it's like a few miles out of um, just a few miles out of New York, basically. So that's generally that's generally what I tell people. So. Right, so what I'm doing now is just going through some some of these images I would go individually, other ones I would actually just copy the presets which I've got right here. So these so this is where I'm just gonna do some selection. So I'm gonna go portrait. Uh so just for the profile and then adjust the white balance. Uh, you might not see it. There we go. So so if I want to, I can go make it blue, can make it, so I can change the temperature and I can change the tint. So if I want to, I can make it more vibrant like so, or I might even do monochrome on this one actually. So just see how, there we go. I'm a huge fan of monochrome for those who uh, don't know. So pop on down to a South Street Trio gig one night and take some. Oh, definitely. I'll, I'll definitely uh, stop by at um, South uh, South Street uh, Trio. Well, if if you can ever if if you could send me an invite at some stage, I'm more than happy to uh, be a part of that, uh, Cameron. So more than happy to do some photos and uh, videos. I also do some uh, audio. So I've, I'm actually recording the audio here with my Zoom H1 and uh recorder so i can actually use that for external audio now going back to the image here i'm just gonna carefully just experiment mostly on the exposures here so just see the color well see the contrast and really just examine what looks more presentable in terms of detail wise it's a bit tricky with these older lenses as well because um you really see it like you will see a lot more coming out of it um in terms of dust or mold or stuff so you'll notice more color fringing or just yeah <laughs> generally um so i'm just going to check and definitely sounds like a plan yeah thanks cameron uh just checking out my Instagram. So, so far, I don't have anyone viewing on Instagram, unfortunately, which generally how it goes. Um, yeah. Now, I could also adjust the um, exp some of the uh, tones here on um, just going onto the tone curve and just adjust some of the highlights, lowlights, or other lighting situations. So I'm going to go and just, just going to try and view, view it. It's a bit tricky on, um, for you guys on Facebook as, uh, the center photo, the center screen here is not showing, but you could, hopefully you guys are able to see what I'm doing on the left hand side. So just carefully adjust it. Let's try and bring out some of those darks a little bit. And I really like that. That looks much, that looks really satisfying like that as it is. So 
just going to zoom in there, just do more of a pixel peep. Of course, zooming in at 66.7%, um, uh, there's definitely some noise creeping in on the um, image there. Uh, so I'm just going to bring that up, but that's okay. I actually don't mind if there's a little bit of noise creeping. And now to go on to these ones here, which are actually not too bad. I uh, just want to check on any more comments so far. It doesn't look like it. I've got two views on Facebook, which is A-OK. -okay. Not too bad. Definitely feels like there's more work going through the um, just on my standard profile than on the um, Facebook. Uh, for those who would like to check out my um, Facebook page, though, uh, feel free to check up p.rose photo and video. Um, I also have my own website. I have an IA uh, IM account where I sell a lot of my a lot of my landscapes, um, macros, port some of my own self portraits, or even just get permission from friends who are more than happy to have my photos up online. And I also sell them on uh, Pick Fair as well. Um, if anyone wants me to upload photos onto these stock websites, do let me know because um, because sometimes with these um stock websites, you do get some pretty good pay out of it um at times, and with the payments um, any any earnings I make, I will make sure I send through a percentage to some of you guys. So yeah, so it's a really good little networking plan if you ask me but yeah now I keep saying yeah a lot <laughs> just gonna take a quick drink from uh, my red bull there mm. definitely something to pick up is um the amount of the amount of time i've been speaking i've been constantly speaking for almost the past hour jeez so <laughs> So it'll really get your throat though when you start talking like this for hours. But it's really good though. It's really fun stuff. Just um I'm really enjoying this uh broadcasting though, so I'm just gonna check on my live stream. So so far I got no views unfortunately, but it doesn't look like anyone's viewing, but that's okay. Um do I have anyone viewing on doesn't look like I got anyone viewing on Instagram at this stage, no. It's okay. Uh I will continue. I'm just going to continue with the uh, editing then. Um, so if anyone's interested, then feel free. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What have I done there? <laughs> what have I done there? I want to be custom, not that. Sorry about that. There we go. Yeah, it's just a nice little work process right there. Bring out some of the... So I'm going to bring out some of those shadows and just try and tone down the highlights and... Check out the contrast. I'll bring out that contrast a little bit. So, and then tone down the tone that. Mm, let's see. Bring down the whites or bring it up. Uh, this is just me just thinking to myself or talking to myself in this case. So I'm just gonna go and well, that one that looks fine. So minus forty. Bring her up a little. Bring her down. This is usually how I do things. I just fluctuate between um, positive and negative just to see what looks more appealing. But everybody's different. Uh, and then there's the hazing, which I'm just going to go around there. Now, to do a little bit of a hack, uh, I'm just going to check if anyone's viewing here. It doesn't look like I've got any views on. Well, i got one view now and one view going on. Facebook Live, it seems okay. Now, so what I'm doing, so what I'm going to do now is just with that photo as well. I'm going to go and select all that are rated on the um just on my left hand corner of the screen, except for that one because I don't want to do any adjustments on it. And with these images, I'm going to sync settings so and then it's going to pop up with a synchronization um window and it just shows me everything 
there. I'll see if I could try and put it up on OBS as well. So I'll try, just so you guys can see it. And looks accurate. Yep. So you guys might be, it's a bit faded out here, but, um, but yeah, so it shows everything that I want to have adjust like synchronized. And I'm just going to hit OK there. And then coming back to, yeah, so coming back here and it shows, uh, so now all the images I have just synchronized should be similar. So, so this saves me a lot. Sometimes this would save me a lot of time of editing images one at a time. And then I'm able to just, um, yeah, just be able to upload things. Well, not upload things, but just check out multiple images and then selecting which ones I prefer with the presets I've just set up and then what I can enhance or what I can just say, not like not happy with this image. So it's a very useful, very, very useful tool and my like just using Photoshop here. So this photo, for example, I'm gonna might start bringing out the uh, shadows right there. Um, now I'm just gonna check on the check on that Facebook Live. So so far it's thirty minutes through on Facebook Live. Um, as for Instagram, I've probably been yeah. As for Instagram, I've been live streaming for the past hour though. So I'm actually gonna. So I'm going to end the live stream on Instagram here and I might just continue. Yeah, I'll continue on with the live stream on Facebook though. So if anyone on Instagram is interested, uh, feel free to do feel free to follow me at, uh, well, you guys are already following me on Facebook, no, on Instagram, sorry, but feel free to check out my Facebook page here. So p.rose photo and video. Uh, also check out my my actual website, which is www.patrickrose.co.nz. And yeah, be, feel free to yeah, just feel free to check out more of my work on the rest of my social media. Uh, so for for you guys on Instagram, um, thank you very much for viewing, and I will. See you guys in the next in the next live stream. There we go. And the video there. And share the story. Yeah, why not? Why not there? Now where was I? So sorry, sorry guys on a, a Facebook feed. I just wanna make sure. There we go. There we go. I'll set on um the Facebook. No, Instagram, sorry. Just very busy. Now, uh, okay, so now I'm still 30 minutes through. Yeah, so now I'm 30 minutes through the live stream on Facebook here and just continuing on. Uh, now what I'm going to do with the, with this image here, I'm just going to bring it, just going to bring out the shadows and the blacks. So that way you can see a little bit more in the shadow, deep, just in the shadow area. And I might actually bring out the, just bring up the exposure a little bit. And then just adjust the contrast. So I don't want to do it too much, otherwise it's going to be overkill. And while I'm at it, since I've got that one there, I'm going to also synchronize it with uh, these these two images here just to see how they look. And I must say it's much easier to <laughs> concentrate on just one live stream over multiple, so it's all good. Um, all right, so so far I'm already 30 minutes through live stream on Facebook, so say okay. And I'm slowly losing my voice as it is. So <laughs> yeah. That's the curse about live streaming and broadcasting. You slowly lose your voice, man, slowly. Oh, mate. Right, mate, mate. Now, I'm going to try and synchronize these ones just to the, um, 
the new settings I've just set up here. I should figure out how to do more appropriate live streams. So try and get the um, screen here to show more on what I'm doing, but it seems that it mainly works when I'm using just Photoshop elements, not the uh, camera raw file, which is very, very disappointing. Um, if you ask me, it's very, very disappointing. Just, just to put it out there, it's just uh, if only, if only indeed. Um, good gracious, man! Like some of these need to get brought up into. Jeez, some of these are just well under no, not underexposed, but just they just don't look nice in my opinion, just at the moment. So I'm gonna. Check that out. And, oh dear, what have I done now? At least with some of these, they actually don't look too bad, so it's okay. That's more than okay, it seems. So, ooh, oh, okay, that one looks, that one looks very good, though. So I'm more than pleased with that one. So happy with the result. I'm practically happy with this one. I know it's not perfect, but at the same time, it's, actually pretty good so I'll be keeping so that one there's gonna be a keeper um, that one there just looks crap <laughs> so I'm gonna I don't think I even synced that one didn't I no I did not did I doesn't look like it's synced um hold up let's try that oh, crap hold up let's see if I could try that again so I'm just gonna sync sync the settings and just bring that up and okay yeah so that that one there has been synced it's just the um it's just the color tones it's uh changed a little bit so i'm gonna see if i could adjust that on post here so i'm gonna go and bring it's gonna make things a bit warmer there we go that's a little bit nicer now so everything's so yeah with some of these images it doesn't take much it's just a bit of um adjustments um that's all it is really for me. So just, it might even be just a slight adjustment with the temperature or exposure or something. But after that, it just really starts to show and then, and then looks a bit better, which is fantastic. Um, oh dear, I'm slowly losing my voice though. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm slowly losing it as I've been doing these broadcasting live streams for the past, uh, for the past hour now, so good gracious, it's already been an hour. Good grief. Holy moly. Holy moly on a stick, man. Oh, holy moly. Holy moly, Molly. Good gracious. Good, good gracious. Now I'm trying to do an Irish accent. Why am I doing that? <laughs> this is me and my free time of just editing i'm just speaking random stuff but that's okay because that makes character and personality as people would say but okay now just gonna do that and i gotta say with these images that i've just finished up i just finished adjusting they look more improved which is good so even the ones that I just thought were crap were, I've actually just came out a little bit better because of the, uh, just introducing a warmer temperature, so, which is very useful. Of course, there is plenty of noise, but at this rate, I don't really care about the noise. The, um, the noise is not a huge problem there. Uh, do I have any questions on the live stream? No, it does not look like it. Uh, still very, um, quiet it seems uh, no views whatsoever unfortunately um yeah but okay that's that's all right that I, I just enjoy doing this now it's all good uh I might try and I'm gonna see if i could try and fix this one up i might bring out the uh i'll bring out the ha the dehazing a little bit see if i can uh that's a bit ugly that makes me look more older than i should be because of the if you're able to see a bit more of the expressions on my head. Mm. I 
should probably start doing my live streams more in the afternoons or something like that instead of the evenings because it's very, very quiet here on um it looks very quiet on my live stream right here, which isn't a huge surprise. So I've got another person who's viewing at the moment. Um almost 40 minutes through. Yeah. Um yeah, for, but for you guys who have either just popped in to check the video as well, um, and I'm just about to finish up here because I've been streaming for an hour. Um, so I've just gone through some of these images I've just edited through the raw files. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the, save the ones I've selected. So I'm just going to select all the ones I've just picked. Um, and then I'm going to go on to save images and just going to bring it up on the uh, live stream here. And if I can, just going to just give me a moment. So save options right here. And what I'm going to be. So at this point, um, I'm going to go and just I'm just going to name it as just document name and convert it into a JPEG and I'm going to be sending my photos onto my own, onto a personal file called published. And these are just all the raw files I regularly publish. Uh, I want to check if it's at the maximum quality, which is 12. Um, everything looks more than okay in terms of output. And just like that, I will hit save. And just want to bring that back into here. And just checking on Facebook if there's any anyone new here. Doesn't look like it. Uh, so just going to... Sorry, we have trouble playing this video. Ah, oh, geez. Of course you do. Of course you do. Ah, oh, dear. That's just great. Thank you. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you. Now, um, well, if the video is still, I'm also recording this as well. Um, but for those of you who are just viewing just a recording of this, um, do feel free to check out some of my photos on Facebook. So you can check, you can check out my Facebook, well, my Instagram, sorry. So you can check out my Instagram page on pros just pros forever um i do have a pick fair website where i do sell some of my photos particularly my landscapes and some macros and just some other general photos of mine i also have photos on im as well so if you can check it up on ey the ey E E M dot com slash uh, pros forever. And I also have my own website. So you're free to check out my website at www.patrickrose.co.nz or just check out my Facebook page, which is P dot Rose photo and video. Uh, so now I'm just checking 